Welcome back to the fold. Your absence was felt, and your return is a cause for celebration. May God's abundant blessings be upon you. Before we delve into today's message, let us pray, offering our supplication to God the Father, dear Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, whom you sacrificed to save us, your pitiable children, from the fires of hell, please hear our prayers. We offer you our meager sacrifices. We accept challenges and suffering as a means to bring redemption to souls in the warning. We implore you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and to embrace your merciful heart, offering you the necessary sacrifices and penance before your eyes. Amen. We hope you'll enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive the latest updates. Join us and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may God always protect you. Vika shares an important message from the Blessed Mother, who has informed Vika about some dangerous events occurring in certain cities in the United States and the United Kingdom. Mother wants you to be prepared with holy water and other sacred items in your home and in your heart. Then, Vika tells you about alarming events that the Blessed Mother has warned her about in cities in both the United States and the United Kingdom. She says that there have been strange and concerning occurrences that have left people feeling uneasy and unsettled. She emphasizes the need for swift and wise action to protect oneself and find a place of refuge from these potentially deadly events in these areas. One thing we can do is keep holy water and blessed items in our homes. She explains that holy water has been used for centuries as a sign of purification and protection. By having holy water in our homes, we can also have a spiritual presence, a place of comfort and protection in times of doubt. She also tells us about the importance of prayer, which can have a profound and positive impact on our lives. Then Vika explains why we need to prepare mentally for what is about to happen. She says we don't know exactly what will occur, but we should be ready and united. Next, Mother shares her message with us, her beloved children of her Immaculate Heart. She comes to us to bestow motherly love upon us and to bless us, her children. She says we must have faith if we want to be close to her Divine Son. She says that people will be able to endure all that is about to happen because they have prepared spiritually. Beloved children of my heart, Mother warns us about the winter that is coming with the most powerful snowstorm humanity has ever seen. As autumn comes to an end, a strange silence envelopes the world. People all over the world are anxiously gazing at the sky, where dark clouds gather, promising a winter unlike any they have experienced before. She tells us the story of the elders, recounting a legendary snowstorm, a mythical tempest that many generations have never witnessed, a powerful natural force so intense that it has become a local legend. The days grow shorter, and the air grows colder. Those who usually look forward to the holidays are filled with deep anxiety. Store owners close their shops earlier, families gather around warm fires, and children listen with awe to the stories of their grandparents, who remember the last time such a snowstorm occurred in Everwood, a time when winter was truly harsh and unforgiving. Then, one faithful night, it will arrive. The snowstorm will descend upon the town with ferocious power, as if the very heavens were enraged. Snowflakes larger than a human hand will fall from the sky, obscuring everything from view and creating piles of snow that blanket all the buildings. The wind will howl like a mournful specter, shaking windows and walls. The snow continues to fall, blanketing the town in a strange silence, occasionally broken by the sound of ancient oak trees bending under the weight of the snow. Dear beloved children of my heart, I specifically warn you about those living in some major cities in the U.S., such as the bustling capital, Washington, the vibrant New York, 
the vast regions of Michigan, and the expansive state of Texas. Across the ocean, the people of London, Liverpool, the lively streets of Bristol, and the bustling city of Birmingham in England are also called upon to pay attention to this important call to action. In these cities and beyond, she says that we need to take immediate steps to ensure our health in the face of upcoming challenges. The key to this preparation is the ancient practice of protecting our homes with holy water. She tells us that holy water, with its deep spiritual significance and purifying properties, has long been considered effective in guarding against malevolent forces and hidden dangers. By keeping holy water in our homes, we not only welcome a sacred presence but also create a spiritual sanctuary that can provide comfort and protection in times of unrest. She also informs us about the significance of sprinkling holy water around our homes. She says it's a ritual that not only purifies and bestows blessings upon our living space but also reinforces our intention to create a safe and harmonious environment. The act of sprinkling water, rooted in tradition and spirituality, reflects the power of intent and awareness. Beloved children, mother says that we will have to face the consequences of our own actions. She advises us not to make matters worse by harming our neighbors. She says that her divine son must endure suffering due to the sinful actions and behaviors of humanity. Mother loves us, blesses us, and protects us. As we embark on this preparedness journey, she reminds us that our actions are not only to protect ourselves but also for a common goal. The shared purpose among communities in these cities, both in the US and the UK, is a source of strength that transcends borders and cultures. She tells us that the use of holy water and related rituals are often part of the religious practices of some Christian groups. Then, she wants us all to pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. What a joy it has been to have you with us today. Your presence has added depth and meaning to our time of worship. We want to extend our sincerest thanks for choosing to spend this sacred time with us. As you leave, may you carry with you the words and teachings that have been shared. May they be a source of comfort in times of trial, a wellspring of wisdom in moments of uncertainty, and a beacon of hope when the path ahead seems dim. Remember, our journey of faith is one of growth and transformation, and we are grateful to walk this path with you. May God's grace and peace be with you always.